Now, Nigeria is focusing on building data on microeconomic variables to plan and execute policies and programs that will impact its citizens similarly to developed economies. However, many African nations and institutions have not taken this seriously, despite having ministries, parastatals, and agencies responsible for this. Some Nigerians are calling on the government to take data building and planning seriously, particularly at the local government levels, to make informed decisions and plan adequately for the citizenry. I discovered that we want to get data on some macroeconomic indices, even in Massachusetts now. You will get it, and this is not generated by the Federal Bureau of Statistics in the US. Same thing in Britain, and even in, in Japan. But in Nigeria, even the federal agencies seem to be sleeping. Which is why when you carry out data from Nigeria, if you will discover that most of these top-ranking journals, they don't take any data from Nigeria serious. Data is needed in the health sector because it is when data is collected that you, as a doctor, you will be able to handle any case there. That is why when a doctor is beginning to talk about uh, case study, or the case of a patient, it is through data that is collected. Except that if you look at the case of Nigeria here, we take data collection for granted, which is not supposed to be. We should take the issue of data collection in Nigeria very serious. Because without this data collection, we cannot effectively formulate our policies and programs for the betterment of our economy. The study emphasizes the significance of data in planning, research and development, urging organizations, institutions and local government councils to generate data. Data and uh, capturing and also statistics planning, you cannot have enough economic projections. Nigeria was created in 1960. We discovered oil in 1958. And the first refinery was built in 1963. The second refinery was built in 1968. The last refinery was built in 1986. If only we had economic projections through adequate data, we wouldn't have been where we are today. Today, today we are buying fuel at almost 1,000 naira, and this is the same fuel. We also import the same fuel. Only we had data. We should have known very well that if Nigeria had a population of 5 million as at the late 80s, we should have a projection that by now we should be more than 200 million. And of course, they need to, to expand our, our refineries. Okay. As we stand today, only four refineries. So, data plan is very important, it gives you a direction. It helps government plan better. The only thing our politicians know is how to cast vote and go to the National Assembly, how to make money and flee abroad. But they don't know the data of their citizens. Like you can see, Marco is a metropolitan state. Without statistics, there is no way development can thrive. If you ask Benue people, what is the population of Benue, they will say above 5 million or 7 million. Nobody can actually give you exactly data of the population of Benue state. So when you don't know the population, how do you plan? How to take me that the economy is frustrating because Nigeria don't have no good plan how to uh, plan ahead the projection. But if you ask somebody, my brother in Canada, they will tell you in the next 20 years, this is the population that I expect in Canada. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.